Hey, what's up, dudes and dudettes? Brad the Guitologist here. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at something that was sent to me for repair. This in this crate down here is a what I think is an Epiphone amplifier. It's the chassis, at least. Check this out, man. This dude, he really took shipping seriously. He actually crated this thing. I mean, he has got three quarter inch plywood, got a bunch of screws in the top. I didn't count all of them, but there's like one, two, three, four, five, six to one side. There's like 19 screws holding the top on so I, I've already screwed the top off of there I mean like I said man it's screwed together uh, the top was also glued on one side so I was trying to pry this thing up and I was like man he really got this thing in here but when I got it open this is all of the padding that was in it there is a little bit of space on the sides and these are the power tubes so I don't know what kind of state those are going to be in because they were kind of in here just flopping freely. But it's just interesting that he went through all the trouble to build this crate. And that's excellent. That's fantastic. That's like the best thing I've ever seen for shipping an amp. Really, it adds a lot to the weight. But I mean, if you want to make sure that something's going to get to your destination, then by all means, crate it up. But what you do want to do on the inside is you want to have as much padding as humanly possible if you're going to do this. Because the thing is, there's no give on the outside of this. Anytime this thing is dropped, it's going to transfer that energy directly to whatever is inside of it if you don't have padding. Okay, so uh, obviously you can see here that uh, I was wrong. <laughs> about this thing jostling around because he has screwed it into the crate with countersunk screws. See the screws? He's got them countersunk like halfway in. 